Hey guys, Sunday fun day. One sexy biker chick come on at first. Five people to come in and say, I saw you at Bob and Tam's. Get a free keychain at one sexy biker chick, 508 Main Street. Be here or don't be here and not get anything. We have jewelry, we have purses, furniture, uh, decor, all that kind of stuff. Right here in the land. Germany. We came from Germany. We have a big group here. Um, that's, that's my president over there. And we have, I mean, uh, we have 10, 10 persons in the group. So you the bike week? I like the bike week. USA. USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my friend. That's my friend from Brazil. 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 In the future. My name is Mr. Mr. Mayor. In Germany, I'm mayor. But I'm here for vacation for two weeks. He always says, you can't film in here. I said, yes, I can. <laughs> Repent, you sinners! Repent, you sinners! And whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of God, which is the Lord of the Lord.
Good morning and welcome to day number three of Daytona Bike Week 2024. We're going to give you a few things of what's going on today on Sunday, March 3rd. The first thing I want to talk about is the Beaver Bar Breakfast. It is from 8 to 11, all you can eat, $7, wonderful place to go. We're going to be there. Come there and meet us. We're going to do a meet and greet. Uh, we'll have some of our new stickers. So we'll meet you at the Beaver Bar Sunday morning. Teddy Morris's, they're going to have their hardcore cycle performance show. That's going to be their show there. They're going to have their three different places. They're going to have the Globe of Death. They're going to have the Drifter Stunt Show. And they're going to have that Hand Balance Show. They also have their free bikini bike wash still. That's going to be from 11 to 4. And at Saints and Centers tonight between 8 and 10, Jasmine Kane's going to be there. Broken Spoke, they're going to have Warren Lane's True Grit Classic. That's the bike show. You need to go see that. That's an awesome show. And between 7 and 9, they're going to have Switch. That's their band for the evening. At the Iron Horse, between 9 and 11, they're going to have Whiskey Heart. Don't forget, they have their steak tips there. They have the Wall of Death. And they also have that free beer between 4 and 5 if you've got your mug. On Main Street, all the bars there, they're going to have bands. They're going to have a great time. You need to go down on Main Street, check it all out. Um, patronize those bars down there and uh, give them some support. Check out all the bikes and all the people down on Main Street. It's a good time. OB's out in Deland, they're going to have their Rumble Rally Bike Show. And that's going to be at 10 a.m. out in Deland at OB's Bar. The Crackleberry Contest today is they're going to have Twerking Contest at 8.30. And they're going to have their Pole Dancing Contest at 11.30. Don't forget out there at Cabbage Patch and Cackleberry, they have vendors, bands, all kinds of fun stuff going out there. On out there, Don't forget to check them out. At the Indian dealership, they're going to have vendors, bands, and don't forget that $3 beer. They have demo rides out there for slingshots and Indians. Don't forget all the great vendors down at the Speedway, all the demo bikes you can ride out there. Just go check it out. Have a great time today. Be safe. We'll see you at Beaver Bar. And here's a few clips of Saturday night down on Main Street. Enjoy that sign. Put it in your man cave. Another satisfied customer here at CPC. Crown Premium Cigars, the number one and only real cigar vendor on Main Street. Everybody else has a little pop-up tent. They don't even own a cigar shop. I'm the real guy. I'm in the business. And then I bring it to you guys, the rest of the United States, for all the motorcycle rallies. But I do have a brick and mortar, as you can ask my Look. cigar companies to come and do Look. events with me. My good buddy Mark, get over here, Mark. Lagalera Cigars. Anyway, but yeah, so I got my guys here. We're doing cigars. We're talking crap. We're talking shit. We're having fun. Always talking and, shit. And we're doing business. Yes. We're doing big business. They're going to make a cigar here to release for us. Pro Premium Cigars. We're going to have another great cigar with a band. They're already Three coming out. Your age minimum on that, on that tobacco. And where do we find you at in Daytona during Bike Week? Well, the number one spot in the world. Main Street, baby. 608 Main Street. 
Also, if you want to see one of my tents, if you want to see what class looks like in a cigar tent, behind Froggy's, I've been there for eight years, uh, so 16 motorcycle rallies. Also, Main Street Station, not in the back by the other vendors, right out front by the road. Where that, you belong. That's where Chrome goes, out front. <laughs> not in the cemetery like them other guys selling illegal cigars. And then Broken Spoke, out in Ormond, they begged us to come. Of course we're going to come spread the love of, of tobacco out there. That's our good friend Sherry and everybody out there. We love them. Chrome Premium Cigars. You can also check us out at ChromePremiumCigars.com, 814-504-4494. Or just stop in and see the guy that runs it all, George Merced, here every minute of the day from 8 a.m. until midnight, or sometimes later, depends how the crowds are, 608 Main Street. Awesome. Can't wait to see everybody this year on the road. Stop in, say hi, get a sticker, buy a t-shirt, get a hat, whatever. Let's be friends. Crop Blue Cigars, where we're always making smoke. He said it. So how's the coins going? Oh, they're awesome. Selling like yeah. hotcakes. All right. How many more do, do we still have left? So we're, we've already got through two days now, so we're coming up on Sunday. You do. All right. So we got to make sure they get down here before they're gone. 90 this year. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> I say it, otherwise it would scare me. <laughs> oh. Yep, still looking good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Just a family business. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Started yeah. in 1954. Yep. And you've had some lot of famous people in here. Oh. Yes. Oh. Good heavens. Yeah. Well, you've got Liberace. You've got uh, the guy over there, Evil Knievel. Paul Newman. I mean, Ahead on. Yeah, Paul Newman used to hang out here all the time during the races. Yeah, he did. Bike week. He had beat up old jeans on and a cap pulled down, and if you didn't notice those eyes, you wouldn't know who he was. He just liked to watch people. Yeah. yeah. And you gave him that little sanctuary where he could enjoy the rally. Yeah, really. That's, right. That's great. Yes. And That's even can evil, <coughs> excuse me, on our couch when he got really tired. Yes. 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 There you yes. go. And, all right. and, and curse. And curse. Yeah. <laughs> From all his bones yeah. and <laughs> all righty, so we'll probably check back with you before the rally's over. Evil said that he just got on a stock bike and jumped. He said after that they had specially built ones and they used lasers. But he said I broke every bone in my body twice. And he said, but fame is fleeting. Nobody remembers you when you're gone. I said they'll remember. They will. We still remember evil. Yeah. They're actually getting ready to build a new museum in Las Vegas yeah. with all of his stuff because we know the lady that actually has the collection, and they're working on it now. Within hopefully within the next year they'll have it open. Oh, and they even got the truck where they the truck he had. They found the original one okay. and they completely restored his trailer. But I gotta tell you one thing. When Evil came in and said he wanted a motorcycle, he wanted the wheels to turn, all the stuff he said, Sean made it, called Evil to come over and look at it. Evil looked at it and he went, Oh, that's terrible. And we all went, oh. and Newman was sitting over there. He came over to see what was the matter. Evil said, I never rode a bike with two wheels on the ground. You have to make a dual wheelie. So Newman <laughs> bought the first one and we had to we redo had it. To redo it. And balance yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah. so it was doing a wheelie. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Doing a wheelie. Yeah. Well, that changed our business because people came in and they wanted what Newman or most like what Evil Knievel had. And then women wanted little ones for their ears. And then he came back right, the next right, year right. and he wanted uh, this This is why I work till midnight every single night. He wanted <laughs> that one. And then he went that one. And then, of course, this year, Sean made that one. Yeah. But uh, it was it was fun. Yeah. Well, it was. And, of course, everybody wanted to see Evo Knievel. You know? yeah. Yeah. And, of course, uh, Liberace. Yeah. We had this huge candelabra that was part of a, a famous woman who was an artist. And she was going blind. So she was going back to live in Chicago. And we bought a lot of her silverware. The one that she had was so huge, it was like, it, it was on top of our safe for years. And a man came in one day, he said, is that for sale? And I said, yes. He said, I have a man that'll be interested. So, in walks <laughs> with full tail, and he went, oh, oh, I have to have that. We didn't have cameras back then. He walked out of the store with this big candle on. Is that the one he always yeah. kept on his piano? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That 
Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. Lots All of right. memories. And uh, sell a lot of coins. Yes, we will.